Yo, hello everyone. Today we will be pushing towards champion, ultimate champion, stuff like that with this fastest deck in the game. And by fastest, I'm not talking about the elixir average cost, but about the speed of the troops, which in this case, every single card here is very fast, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, um, we will be trying to overwhelm our opponent with the quickest cards in the game and hopefully it goes well. So I will see you in the first game. Hope you enjoy. All right, so we are in the first game. Uh, our opponent is running Musketeer. We have Wall Breakers, which are great for pressuring. The only thing we don't have, like two things, we don't have our buildings and spells, which, you know, we will have to make work somehow. Hopefully we can make it work, but definitely 2.6 is not a great first game. Uh, we will be just trying to overwhelm our opponent with uh, goblins, spear goblins, dart goblin, like constant spam on the bridge and hopefully he messes up, like I don't know what else to hope for. Um, I don't know if that gets a hit. Nice, that's some incredibly important damage. Um, we will get a hit here, but you know, what can you do? He goes for fireball, so we can maybe go like that. He doesn't defend in time. And that fireball probably like was an overcommitment. And as you can see here, he actually took so much damage on both towers. That's great. Um, he uses the ice spirit well, like uh, gets one spear goblin shot, but like counters the other two nicely. Here we will just go for that. We wait for the log. Hopefully it's enough. Nope, it's not. Let's go in the other lane. Uh, <laughs> hopefully he cannot defend both lanes. He missed the fireball, damn. Um, if he was actually a decent 2.6 player, we would have been dead, but like he missed so much stuff in the first two minutes already, so I'm pretty sure that we are fine at this point. Like, he may have even given up. Like, he still needs to take our whole left tower, and we took almost two towers already with this deck, which, you know, it's an accomplishment in itself, and against 3.6 it's even better. So yeah, he gave up. Uh, great start of the video, I guess. Uh, hopefully we get better matchups in the next games, um, but definitely uh, I'm not complaining. We made a 2.6 player quit, so let's keep it going. Um, we are already in the second game against John Cena. From the Masteries, he's showing us a Hog and a Tesla. So hopefully that's not what he's playing, but <laughs> we will see. Um, right, log, ice spirit. So yeah, probably a hog deck again. Let's see if he defends the dark goblin in time. Doesn't seem so, which I'm fine with. The firecracker will be a pain, but at least we can activate the king tower, I guess. Let's defend with lumberjack, ice spirit. And yeah, we are good. Let's go with wall breakers in the other lane <laughs> they will still get one shot which is great um, let's go for a late dart goblin I don't think it will activate unfortunately oh it did nice uh, I was afraid that it wouldn't he will go again here most probably here it is we have to use everything we have we cannot take hog rider damage we are already taking firecracker damage which is more that like we it's like even like even only the firecracker is too much so taking even hog rider hits will be just like it would be something we cannot afford with this deck um so yeah uh, let's go for dart goblin hopefully he doesn't defend in time uh he may go for a valk nope he goes for ice spirit but it's kind of late so we actually get some pretty nice damage that firecracker is a pain uh Luckily, it's not evolved, but still, uh, like we, ha we we have to defend with lumberjack because we don't have anything else. And yeah, he he can just place it on top and get cheap damage on our tower with that firecracker. Um, he needs to commit something there, so let's go for wall breakers. We don't even have to defend that Valk there. Nice, he didn't hit both. Uh, wall breakers with the ice spirit so one connects and we get some dart goblin ship like we are actually looking great and it's again not a great matchup he goes for um, 
firecracker from the back, which I'm not a fan of. Oh no, he actually hit everything. That's bad. Let's distract. Nice, really good lumberjack. Let's ice spirit that. Uh, we only need one shot on that firecracker, please. Nope. Uh, let's go for spear goblins, I guess. Bats. Oh no. All right, we defended. <laughs> uh, we will not be able to defend for the whole sudden death. That's the issue. And we are also struggling to break through here. So hopefully no hits. Nice, 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 nice. Tesla will take care of everything, unfortunately. Um, let's use everything on defense. All right, he goes for log, but it's fine. We can go with, with wall breakers and maybe he doesn't have enough for Tesla. Again, he... No! But we still got a lot of damage on the right side, so maybe yes? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go for a late ice spirit. Oh. <sighs> All right, he goes for log. Let's go for wall breakers in the same lane as the lumberjack. So they are quicker and maybe, maybe we get a connection. Nice! <gasps> We actually got a win here. I was not expecting that. Uh, we had to spam all the game and defend with the Lumberjack and Dice Spirit if he only played a little better. The same uh, as the 2.6 player before, I guess. But the 2.6 player like completely messed up and this Hog Firecracker player played a little better. Still not good enough, but the Firecracker was even more annoying than a Musketeer because the Musk doesn't connect randomly on the tower and the Firecracker does. So yeah really great game there um hopefully we can get a clean three games one out of three video maybe <laughs> i don't know <laughs> let's see uh pekka is definitely not the worst of the matchups unfortunately we don't didn't place bats the best way possible um let's go for split dark goblins i guess we can go like that let's go for goblins just to not let our Lumberjack die and let's pressure in the other lane. We get a Lumberjack connection. Uh, nice. Let's just go with low Spear Goblins. Should be enough to counter the Bandit. And we are in an early advantage. That's what we love to see. <laughs> he BMs for some reason. We are not even playing a serious deck. So, I mean, congrats to him for BMing. Um, I don't know. Um, he may go for Pekka from the back. I don't know what he's up to. He goes for Electro Wizard. So let's try pressuring with Dart Goblin. The smart decision he would be the smart decision would be ignoring it, and that's what he did. So well played by him. Let's use it. Oh, so he has a log. That's interesting. Pekka breed spam with log, something you don't see often. Let's defend with the Electro Wizard with the Ice Spirit. Should be good enough. Um, hopefully this can deal with the... F nope, it can't. Please. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Royal Ghost survived. <gasps> we are still not dead, but that's not looking great. Um, that Magic Archer should have died. I don't understand why it didn't, but I guess we have to deal with that. Um, let's see if he can defend both lanes. Uh, we get a Lumberjack connection maybe, nice. Um, let's go for Split Spear Goblins maybe. Um, good Split, I really like that. Let's go for Lumberjack. Um, he needs to defend that. That's great. Let's go for that. He needs to defend the left lane, so that's great stuff, but Man, we are not looking good. Um, the fact that he has log is not something I like to see. The magic archer is so annoying. Like, they got so much damage. And he has lightning. Oh, that's unfortunate. The magic archer gave him so much value there. And the log was so annoying. Uh, if he had zap, maybe we could have won. Because the log made him like defend the wall breakers and goblins a lot easier. Uh, so yeah, we are not winning three out of three games, but still tried our best. Um, he BM'd, uh, so he's 
a toxic player like you would expect in mid ladder. But let's not think about that. And yeah, uh, that's it for the video. We won the two hardest the two hardest matchups in the video. This was probably easier, was it? Not that sure. Like Magic Archer log kind of hard to defend, but. You tell me, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't even know if you can rate matchups when using this kind of deck. But still, uh, we tried our best. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to try this deck out for some reason, you can do it. But I can assure you it's not the best deck uh, you could play in Clash Royale. Like, that's for sure. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video, which will be probably tomorrow. And yeah, have a nice day. Take care. Bye, 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 bye.